now our ui is almost ready let's uh, let us go back and write some scripts for our app go to the app folder create a folder here with name scripts just go into that folder so it seems like there was a let me just add this t scripts okay now now we have the folder ready so into this folder what we are going to do is like we are going to create a class if you go to the plugins folder there is a persons class now this is basically a when you open this uh, in inside the visual studio you can see it's a basically a pojo type thing and uh, we are going to create a small app basically a contact type uh, app will only for interaction with the database we will have a instead of person we will have contact and we'll add some more of uh, this fields so let's go ahead and uh, do it so i'll just add a class contact now let us edit it in the visual studio what we can do is we just copy everything from the persons.cs and copy into contact.cs we'll change the name of the class to contact let me add a couple of fields like mobile number and email id so mobile i can just uh, this will be basically string so i'll just uh, add it like that then uh, this will be mobile then there will be a field for uh, email and then let us add one more field for uh, city this is done now this two string for the two string method what you can do is just copy this last three and paste it here and we'll just copy and paste uh, from top so now similarly here we are going to just have three more fields here in case you are not able to understand exactly like uh, why we are doing it see when you see uh, like check out this particular string out here you will see it is ordered in the parameter so whatever are there in the braces those are corresponding to the parameters which are being passed to the string so here while formatting whatever the the parameters are there like for this is for zero this is one parameter uh, index one this is index two this is index three so and so on so in this braces you just give the index of the parameter and it will get added here so it's zero one two three it this will be four this will be five this will be six so this way we are getting the to a string for the class so if whenever you want to print it you can just do to a string for this particular class and you can do it so let us save this and our contact class is ready now you can utilize it for any purpose which you want